Hello, this is Chef Max here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. We're going to be walking you through this 1970 Continental, Lincoln Continental. It's the Mark III. It's got a 460 V8 in it. And uh, of course, automatic. This is the car you want if you want to drive down the road uh, and feel like you've never left your living room. Well appointed interior. Lincoln uh, very much nailed the road cruiser in this 1970. Mark III. Yep. So, go ahead, Max. Set up kind of road warrior status, too. It's got a great stance to it. It's definitely aggressive. A lot of cool little mods done to this that have not taken away from the overall uh, feel of that you should expect to get in a Lincoln. Um, it has some additives, I'd say, that have been done to it, like the engine. Can't wait to show you guys that. Absolutely. So this one was uh, restored. It was single family owned until it just went through the estate. Um, so... The, the guy that huge car fanatic, um, he owned it. He got this from his mom. So this was always a family car. It was his mom's pride and joy. And then he did a complete restoration on it. And uh, obviously it was his pride and joy as well. Never planned on selling it, but here it is on the market. The paint was done by one of our locals. And that was uh, by Benny Hampton of Benny Rod's, of Benny Rod Shop. He's a neighbor of ours just down the road kind of swing you over on this side because the lights a little bit better. But this thing is just long as can be, but just laser straight. Some of those really subtle ads on the hot rod are those ghost flames. We're picking those up just yep. barely. And uh, you've got to get the right light on them. If you like just the, the full-on, you know, maroon kind of candy apple of this thing, those flames are faint enough that most people will pick up on them, but they're, they're truly well done ghost flame. Yep. The paint is forever deep. I was talking to Benny about this, and it's just so many layers of paint, so many layers of clear. It's one of those paint jobs that you can just really fall into. It's just that deep. Well, and check out those reflections. You can even see the art of that uh, piece hanging up behind us. You know, you can see exactly what it is. Nice reflection there. And that's uh, largely in part two to uh, our detail staff here. We just did a full cotton buff on it to remove any micro scratches on it. You've got the very cool Continental look rear end to this. That's what made these cars. That's what they're named after. And uh, all the chrome's in really nice and straight shape. And all the bright work and trim, even around the wheel arches and going down that, that shoulder liner in really nice and tight and straight condition. Vinyl top in very good condition. This is one of those cars, after its restoration, it's always just been an indoor car. So the paint, as Max said, the chrome, you're not seeing any signs of age um, anywhere on the vehicle. And knowing Benny, all this was definitely taken off of the body. It's not like they cut any corners. Oh, absolutely. Fantastic wire wheels. Those are obviously not stock. Those are upwards of... 800 uh, bucks a pop on each each wheel, so no uh, nothing was spared there. Interior full leather, and we're going to demonstrate all your power features, lights, etc. But uh, functioning uh, power seats up front, replaced dash as far as that cap, so certainly no cracks on that. Beautiful headliner. And those seats are just plush and luxuri luxurious. So it is a luxury car, but I can't wait to show under the hood because you can be hanging out in style back here instead of being beat up in a, you know, Nova's seats, which I do love. But there's nothing to be said for a big Lincoln, nice power feature, everything. And then you've got the hot rod engine underneath. So we're looking at a 460 that's been fully gone through and definitely putting down some serious power. Yep, you've got an Edelbrock um, manifold on there. And I just forgot what the carb was. I want to say Carter. It is a Carter AFB competition series along with this uh, performance Edelbrock. I'll put this back together. You've got the cool Ford um, valve covers as well. 
Exhaust is all looking really clean. And it's an AC car. Compressor right there, power steering, power brakes. I mean, it's a big heavy car with the power to get it going, and you've got the brakes and the control to get it stopped as well. MSD ignition. Nice painted fenders. Yeah, the engine was out to do that. Fully painted. As we go through this car, you'll see that everything was taken apart. Everything's brand new, nothing bolt put back on. As we're up here, we'll go ahead and start it up, but as we're up here, do note that uh, no surprise that the, uh, the uh, hidden lamps are no longer hidden. These are non-functional. Lights work. Let's well, jump in and give it a start. Yeah, let's hear it. It's really nice and smooth, as a Lincoln engine should be. However, the exhaust has a nice little throaty accent to it. There's your parking lamps, your driving lights, and your brights. Looking good. There's your left turn signal and your right turn signal. There's our wipers working, two stage. There's your running lamps in the rear, your right turn signal, your left turn signal. There's your brake and your reverse lights do function as well. Power windows, and this one of the coolest, coolest window treatments too. They go straight back instead of sliding down. Going back, going down. Very cool. Your turn signal uh, indicators work on the dash. You've got a fantastic sound system that you can really crank. Headlamp indicator. I just want to go to Vegas, Max. Let's do it. Let's go to Vegas. So we don't have the original uh, wheels. We do have the original hubcaps, so these don't do you a lot of good because you don't have anything to put them on, but they're still quite valuable. They come with the car. Once again, insulated, soundproofed, big sub there. A lot of space back here, a lot of uh, high power sound system. It's All that does is so you can really crank up the tunes without getting any sort of distortion. And what's nice is this is not done by a teenager in his garage. This is really well sorted. These stereo systems can go, you know, two different directions. Done by a 15 year old in a garage and they're just really bad mm -hmm. and they draw your battery. Um, or they're really well sorted and hidden and put away and mounted like this system. Absolutely. So this is a fantastic car, tip to tail. Um, once again, flip up headlights don't work. We've got original glass, even though we put all of our glass down, everything is stamped. Original windshield, but within that original windshield, we do have a chip. Uh, it's a roundy, it's not going anywhere. So note that if you ship it, that's there uh, before the truck ever got a hold of it. But fantastic paint. Fantastic wheels, rust-free body. We've got under video. We have under photos. If there's anything that we've missed on this video, give us a call and uh, we'll get you the information. But a fantastic quality build.
I'm Shep. I can be reached at 208-721-1973. And my name's Max. You can always call me, too. My phone number is 208-720-8854. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.